But let's uh, yeah. let, let's talk inflation, um, UE. Like if you look back, you know, you obviously watched the video. So I'm I'm thinking we didn't mess up too badly, even though uh, inflation persisted. But the thing is, and, and I think we mentioned that when we spoke, is that we, we define transitory very importantly as having to do with the pandemic. And at the start of November, we didn't know about Omicron yet. And, you know, the Netherlands even went into a full, full lockdown again uh, for two months. Yeah, I, th- I think the question of what transitory means is really important, right? And I guess I did say that, like we said earlier, I did say that inflation might go back down soon. But then we had Omicron and it didn't. And, you know, a lot of the things that have been driving inflation, uh, you know, the bottlenecks in supply chains, for example, were, you know, exacerbated and inflamed once again. So I think it's our kind of framework was definitely defensible and I think basically correct, even if some of the specifics of, you know, the predictions maybe were a little bit premature. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you think about the the position that we we had then, uh, has it changed for you? Like transitory, team transitory? Have you moved at all? Um, I've moved in thinking, yeah, in in the length of time that I I think this will go on for. I do, I do reckon we'll have kind of high ish inflation for you know maybe a total of a year or more. I think I perhaps. I thought it was just kind of a one-time bump because you know there were these issues of um, the kind of one-time jumps in inflation after lockdown ended, right? And perhaps I kind of overestimated that side of things and then I um, kind of underestimated probably issues like supply chain bottlenecks, which I think are actually a little bit more deep-rooted than than we thought. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know what you think of that. Yeah, so I have actually moved a little bit towards permanent as well, but on other issues more that, um, you know, when we did the video, we were saying like expectations, you can't see anything. Now I think in expectations you, you can see because, and that's normal, right? Because it's been going on for, for longer. So it makes more sense that, that expectations also move upwards. And I, th- I did see some sort of more um, evidence, especially in the United States, that, that w- Um, the labor market was getting tighter. And I think it's also very interesting that the discussion moved more towards sort of the the wage uh, price spiral. Mm. I think that's still a bit premature, but but I have moved a little bit towards seeing that, okay, that that wasn't where it originated, but it is maybe here and there starting to feed into that. What do you think about that? Do you think that inflation is starting to feed into a a wage and price spiral? I, maybe that's a bit strongly put, but I can, yeah. I, I could see that people are now getting more worried about that danger. And I, I wouldn't say like, oh, uh, for that reason, hike rates insanely uh, and let's shut down the economy. Not like that. But like here in Belgium, especially, I do see like energy prices are, are big, are especially a big uh, problem here in Belgium. And I do think you can start seeing that now in sort of businesses like bars. I was at a restaurant yesterday and it does make sense that they will start hiking their prices a little bit as well, you know, if the energy bill goes up by 50%. Yeah. 